Hello, Initiates, and welcome to Module 1 of the Illumicorp Video Training Course. I would like to officially welcome you as a member of the team. You've joined our organization at perhaps the most exciting point in our long history. Our founders shared a passionate dream to transform this country and eventually the whole world into one cohesive organization. When Illumicorp finishes gaining centralized control of the resources of the planet, and we will, we can then organize, distribute, and govern for the benefit of all. After competition and dissent are eliminated, we will build a utopia for the people of the world to share based on need and rejoice together in a harmonious new world. This presentation is designed to enlighten you about our organization's goals and achievements. As your guide, I will help to answer some basic questions you might have about Illumicorp and familiarize you with the valuable role you will play in helping us reach our prime objective. So please, take a tour with me as we march together towards an exciting new world. All people are aware of class. To them, society is made up of the rich, the middle, and the poor. The one thing that all three classes don't understand is that the pyramid continues upward. There is a detached hidden capstone made up of an elite board of directors who own and manage Illumicorp. The three classes below, in essence, become the assets and resources of Illumicorp. Illumicorp is divided into various administrative branches, but each branch has the same five levels in their hierarchy. You will begin at the bottom, in the initiate category. As such, your role will be to make sure that your orders are carried out through the subcorporations and institutions controlled by Illumicorp. You will be placed in plain sight, at the head of a company or institution in the public sector, to carry out the plans delivered from above. Remember. Your role is very important. You will be the face of Illumicorp to the outside world. You are our connection to the masses below. Never speak publicly about your orders or your masters. Now let's look at Illumicorp's six administrative branches and their functions. You will be placed in a top position of power among one of the following sectors. In this way, as you are monitored and guided from above, you will decide strategy and introduce programs that further our goals. But that is the secret to Illumicorp's success. Control the head, and you control the body. This is potentially Illumicorp's most effective instrument for global control. Through international banking, we manipulate the fate of all countries we have introduced many institutions, such as the IMF and WTO, that work in our favor to impoverish disobedient nations. Always remember, debt is a powerful weapon against countries that don't share Illumicorp's vision. Perhaps our greatest achievement in banking is the Federal Reserve System. It is a collection of international banks owned by Illumicorp members and financiers. It was created to form a centralized banking system through the Federal Reserve Act of 1913 
an act that was indeed penned by some of our most esteemed members. Many of you might still assume that the government itself prints and issues the currency. That is not the case. When America needs money, they go to our boys and ask for it. The money is printed, but it is only representative of a loan. Interest accrues on that dollar until it is paid back to the Fed. In fact, the federal taxes paid by the American population go almost entirely to paying off this debt. So you see, Illumicorp derives a healthy amount of its operation funding directly from the debt of the public. Needless to say, this is one of our most crucial sources of funding and one of our proudest achievements here at Illumicorp. Through mergers and acquisitions, we have slowly and silently bought up the majority of U.S. industry. Illumicorp and its members own most of the oil, transport, banking, media, food and communications industries in America and abroad. Through fewer and fewer conglomerates, we are able to affect with great precision the machinations of labor and government. Ultimately, corporations will replace government as a centralized international body that can meet the needs of the public worldwide without the chaos created by national self-interest. When Illumicorp goes public, corporatism will be the foundation for world government. Conglomerates will merge into one cohesive corporation that is responsible only to Illumicorp and the needs of its global employment force. Illumicorp's control of the American military is another impressive tool in our possession. We have nurtured these institutions lavishly to serve as the prototype for our global police force. When ready, our technology and manpower will dominate those who oppose the coming new world order. By utilizing American patriotism, we have fostered in the American soldier the philosophy of peace through superior force. When the time is right, we will migrate that mentality towards the belief in a global government who must protect all people through superior force. We have used the American military-industrial complex to build the arsenal necessary to instigate the final cleansing outlined in Illumicorp's great plan. Our primary target will be Islamic nations who will never submit to our Western-centric domination. They also hold much of the remaining oil reserve of the planet. Illumicorp must own that precious resource, as it is crucial in maintaining our domination over the countries of the world. Through Illumicorp's enormous federal funding of the military, we can develop new forms of warfare and population reduction. The public can't imagine what we were in the process of developing. Soon, even the weather will be a weapon under our control. We will be able to create droughts, floods, hurricanes, and even tsunamis with no fingerprints attached. The political system of America has been under direct control of Illumicorp for some time. It was actually a relatively easy acquisition and has been even easier to manage. Politicians know of our unspoken agreement and will do anything to stay in power. A two-party system benefits Illumicorp in that it reduces all issues into a black and white debate. Through media we can play side against side using each when necessary to support our goals. Due to a diminishing faith in the system among the public, Illumicorp has designed a rogue candidate program to provide a voice for the dispossessed. This disperses the impetus for dissent among those who do not feel represented by our candidates and builds a database of potential dissidents. At the turn of the last century, Illumicorp took a serious interest in public education. Our Supreme Council realized that by creating a private organization to dictate curriculum on a federal level, children could be conditioned to obedience on a mass scale. In the interest of promoting Illumicorp principles in the classroom, hundreds of millions of dollars were invested to create the General Education Board in 1902. The result of doing this is evident today. The doctrines of public education have transformed recent generations into a weaker, 
more docile mass. Through meticulously planned curriculum, we have control over the process by which the average child learns. Thus, we can mold them into obedient workers who are conditioned to accept the implementation of the great plan. In addition, Alumacorp has set up many associations, including the American Historical Association, that determine and uphold the official view of history. Knowledge is power, so we must at all costs be the authors of the truth. By writing history to suit our interests, dissenting voices cannot gain ground, and we can vastly influence culture to achieve our prime objective. Illumicorp uses the media to shape the public's opinion about current events and condition desired attitudes about our future agenda. Through news, entertainment, and advertising, we can program a variety of emotions and responses into the collective unconscious. In the past, we were limited entirely to print media, but now we have multiple mediums to utilize in programming and conditioning the masses. With cable news, we have directed the public to a more entertainment-based consumption of world events, infotainment. This medium is far more effective at subliminal reinforcement of desired attitudes towards our objectives. For instance, we are currently instilling a sense of duty towards environmental issues. With our growing control of the weather through harp and chemtrails, we will scare the public into accepting our global protection agendas. We will then phase into the great cleansing which must occur to return the global population to a manageable size. We reinforce the desired norm through advertising, creating a model for people to live up to that is virtually impossible. The result is an incomplete, desperate individual seeking acceptance. Through reality television game shows, we repeat the pattern of individual survival versus group survival. This breaks down the idea of community and breeds individuals who seek only their self-interest. With a public that is constantly suspicious and scheming, we maintain the status quo of a divided population that never thinks to look up. Religion has served its purpose incredibly well. It is the oldest, and perhaps the broadest form of social control utilized by Illumicorp. With religion, there is a written code of conduct that must be followed. The authors of the Holy Scriptures knew quite well how to lace that code with commands to maintain their dominance over the population. This system has survived through millennia to hold the flock together and bring us to today. Admittedly, religion is losing its power for control. However, the fanaticism that has arisen due to this decline is particularly helpful to Lumicorp. Our invisible influence in the church has helped bring the Christian fundamentalists out of the background. We control their opinions on current issues through policies designed and written right here at Lumicorp headquarters. They are sent to our ministers, who then preach the word of God and their interpretations of the Bible to their followers. Their blind faith is used to transform them into willing soldiers to defend our cause during the catastrophes ahead. As the final phase is enacted, we will propagate end-time prophecy to convince them of their convictions. The rise of Islamic fundamentalism works to Lumicorp's advantage as a threat that will demand violent action. In the coming years, planned terrorist attacks will warrant a full-scale retaliation and initiate the final phase of the Great Plan. Christians will support our actions since they will believe them to be proof of the end times prophesied by Illumicorp's religious leaders.
now that you have a basic understanding of how we work over here in Lumenfort, I would like to introduce you to one of our latest projects, the Control Grid. Since ancient times, it has been the desire of the Illumins to wield control of the masses below, both to protect us from them and them from themselves. The tools through the ages have been effective, but always blunt and inaccurate. But now, with the release of new technology to the masses, we have the real ability to implement a control grid with finance, industry, government and military under our strict control we can safely ship the population into a new world, monitored and controlled by Illumicor. Technology such as the internet, GPS, and RFID chips are pillars of the invisible prison we are erecting around the people. Within the decade, we will have real ID cards that contain criminal records and pertinent information, all linked to federal databases. Cell phones will tell us where each individual is, linked to the same database. Through intelligence agencies and homeland security, we will monitor individuals who oppose the great plan and remove them from the grid. Quickly, the population will learn that they have a choice, support the system and benefit from its luxuries, or reject it and lose access to the grid. Well, that was quite an overview. I hope it gave you an understanding of our process and basic overall structure here at Illumicorp. Don't worry if you can't remember specific details at the moment. Once assigned to your administrative branch, you will be shown the second Illumicorp training module. Your initiate supervisor will brief you on your specific duties at that point. Also, please review your copy of the Great Plan and the attached code word and symbols booklet you will need to know the ways we communicate internally through public channels. This concludes part one of the Illumicorp video training module. I wish you the best of luck, and may our plan complete in secrecy. The dawn of a new era is on the horizon, and it will shine gloriously over the new world that we have built together.